Next FSEC thinking tool is learning and teaching. I combine them together. And this is a huge area. I created many videos about learning and teaching, so you can go there. But I just want to put this in a short form here because abstract thinking, abstract ideas, models, theories, rules, we can learn by ourselves, first hand experience, real life experience, but also a lot of time we learn it from other people. And the whole education system is about this, that go to the classroom and there are the adults who already, or experts, who already know a lot of things about this area, that is biology, physics, you don't have to discover everything by yourself, they will tell you. So, one, so it's very, very useful. It, it, you, you, the civilization could not develop if we individually have to learn everything by our first hand experiences. So learning from other people, like in this video, okay, this video is the same. So learning from other people who spend a lot of time to, to come up with an idea. Maybe let's say you read a book, you spend 10 hours to understand what is the idea. And that author spend maybe 10, 20 years in that field and spend maybe one or two years to write the book and many other people, their colleagues, uh, edited, overviewed the book and uh, gave suggestions. So, and then you spend 10 hours to, to get the, the abstract idea from that person. So it's very useful, you can save a lot of time. Uh, one problem with the education system is that students, they spend maybe 15, 20 years in the education system and they learn a lot of uh, ideas but they don't have real life experience. Of course everybody has real life experiences but not that field. And uh, most people cannot handle this. So they just don't understand when there is a new idea. I was a relatively okay student, usually when the second half or top 30% of the class and I really had difficulties to understand a lot of abstract ideas because you have to learn concepts, you have to manipulate concepts, you have to learn symbols, learn how to manipulate symbols and, and everything is so many uh, new stuff and what, what is the implication in real life? So a lot of times you cannot really test, so everything you have to learn in your head. So the problem, at least at higher level education, that it should be a lifelong learning and uh, students should go out to work in the real life, get experiences and it would be actually a motivation to come back because they realize that people with higher education, more knowledge, they have better jobs and better paying jobs. So, but I guess this is uh, very obvious for everybody that going to university but and you study something but you never had any experiences, it's not, not very good. In some higher level education, let's say MBA programs, they require people, if they have option to, to select scan, from the candidate, that they need, let's say, five years experience in the business field before you can go and do an MBA course. Now, that is good, because otherwise everything is abstract, you, cannot, you, you will not understand. So, if you cannot, this is very important when you learn that you have to be able to connect at least for a few situations and specific situation. Yes, it can be also an abstract case that you learn a, a rule. It can be just you practice in a, let's, let's say, uh, you learn mathematics and then the teacher or the book provides you some situations when you can practice to, to apply this rule but it's even better when you can apply in the in the real life so when education would be that uh, people live their lives and they have a problem and then they go after to learn these things in a higher level so earlier long time ago the apprenticeship was like this that uh, 
a young person, maybe 8 years old, 12 years old, went to work for a master and the master worked there and they had the hands-on experience and then maybe from time to time the, the master explained something in a theoretical level. So that is a much better model. But so the main point in one of the main points in abstract thinking is to pass knowledge to other people or apply the same knowledge by yourself in another field. But the, we give knowledge to other people. So you have to be a very good teacher and understand that abstract thinking is difficult for almost everybody at, at higher level. They need lots of real life experiences, if it's possible, or at least practice a lot with examples. And with a higher education, they assume that, they, let's say, professor, that they have, let's say, 20 years experiences in a field, let's say real life experience, because most professors, they don't have real life experience, they just have teaching experiences. But let's say an expert want to know, want to give their abstract models about a field, want to teach you. The problem that most of them uh, try to talk about abstract ideas, because that is the main point. So abstract ideas models are much more useful because they are higher uh, level and then you can apply but they don't understand that almost all the people learn from specific examples not from generalized rules and laws and so when you try to teach other people always follow this start from from many many examples and even let the person to start to come up with with their own abstraction so you have many examples let the person and then you can correct them you can help them to 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 modify their model about this one and when you are a learner be aware that the main idea of learning is to reach higher and higher abstraction level but in a way that you connect them, whatever you use, that you can use it in the real life. This is the main point that abstract and real life, the details, the specific data, the specific skills, uh, let's say doctors, they have to learn at very high level, a uh, surgeon. They have to understand everything, so they spend years to build mental models about the body and how everything functions, but if it's just in their head, they need the practice to really find that, hey, this is, uh, what is this? What is this line? Uh, is it a nerve or it's, what, what is it? It's an internet cable or what? So they have to uh, connect to practice. So the main point in abstract thinking that it must be useful in the real life and most people need real life experience first or at least a supervised practice that they can use to, to go to a higher level. Don't try to teach something from abstract first. Deductive thinking is very difficult. Abs uh, inductive that seeing patterns and formulating ideas, seeing uh, general rules from a lot of experiences is much easier.